Nope. The other day, I was up in the attic of my family's house, looking for a box that had a bunch of my old comic books in it. I was trying to save up enough money to buy a PlayStation, and was going to sell them to a friend. The box was not easy to find. It had been up there for years, and had gotten buried under a bunch of other boxes. I was beginning to think my parents might have thrown it away, when I saw the unmistakable white box sitting at the bottom of a stack of Christmas ornaments. I quickly grabbed the ornaments and set them aside so I can grab the comics. As I lifted the box to free them from the floor, the unthinkable happened. When I turned to leave, I bumped my elbow into the stack of ornaments, sending them crashing to the floor. Words cannot describe the fear that overcame me as the box of bulbs shattered, sending colored glass across the attic floor. I am so dead, I said to myself as I let the box of comics fall from my hands. I remember how bent out of shape my parents got when my younger brother accidentally broke one of the ornaments while playing with his ball inside of the house. For a week, he couldn't sit without the aid of a pillow, so I could only imagine what they would do to me when they found out I had just broken more than half of the ornaments. A million excuses started racing through my head, each one more absurd than the last, and none of them would save me from the wrath my parents would bring down upon me when they found out. The good news was that I had time on my side. Christmas was still three months away. That was still plenty of time for me to come up with a plan to save my ass, or at least save up enough money to run away. Once I calmed myself down, I decided the first thing I needed to do was clean up all of the broken glass and put all of the boxes back where they were supposed to be. As I knelt down to gather the boxes, I noticed a few odd objects mixed in with all of the broken glass. There were a couple of teeth, a few small bones, several pieces of jewelry, and a lock of hair with a ribbon tied around it. Those things weren't on the floor originally. I would have noticed them when I first entered the attic if they were. The only place they could have came from was from inside of the ornaments. What the hell were those things doing inside the ornaments? Better yet, who put them there? The obvious answer to the second question was my parents. I was afraid to speculate on the reason. That must have been why they were so protective of the ornaments. As I stared at the odd menagerie on the floor, I began to wonder if the collection had anything to do with the annual trip my parents would take the week before Christmas. My brother and I were never allowed to go with them. We always had to go and stay with our grandparents. I thought it was some romantic getaway that allowed my parents some alone time. They always seemed so happy and festive when they returned. I was beginning to wonder why. This discovery had turned a bad situation into something much worse. The only way I was going to get out of this predicament alive was to replace the ornaments and put the items back inside them. Sounds easy enough, but it isn't. Those ornaments were antiques. I spent the next half hour cleaning up the broken glass and making sure I found all of the items. There were 32 in all. One for each year my parents were married. I didn't think that was a coincidence. It has been about a month since the accident, and thankfully my parents haven't found a reason to go up in the attic. I fear my luck is going to change though. 
Last night I overheard them planning their Christmas vacation. It's only a matter of time before one of them goes up there and discovers the empty ornament boxes. I've searched everywhere for replacements, but I can't find any. I even looked into getting some custom made, but I can't afford what they're asking. I'm posting this here in case someone out there is in possession of the same type of ornaments. If you have any, please make sure they are empty before contacting me. I don't want you to wind up in the same kind of trouble I'm in. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button down below. This will be the first video in a series of Christmas videos that I'll be posting all December long, so stay tuned for more. Shout out to the author of this story, KG Lewis. I'm going to leave several links down below, one to the original Reddit post. I'm going to leave a Facebook link so you can follow them there. And I'm also going to leave an Amazon link to a book they wrote that you can get on Kindle and on paperback. Maybe a good stocking stuffer for the holidays. All right, everybody. Until next time, remember to stay safe out there. I'll be seeing you in the next video.